Erin Arian here from seeyousoon.ca and in this video series I'm partnering up with Ontario Southwest Tourism to show you some of the best small town getaways this region has to offer. This week we're visiting the town of Caledonia. Located in Haldimand County, just 15 minutes outside of Hamilton, Ontario, Caledonia is a picturesque community along the Canadian Heritage Grand River. In the heart of town is a nine-span bridge, the only one of its kind in Canada, and links the entire community. There's historic sites, green spaces, outdoor activities, and delicious eats to keep the whole family entertained for a weekend getaway. To get your weekend started in Caledonia, meet up with Peter Charles of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing and try your hand at fly fishing along the Grand River. Fly fishing differs uh, mostly from conventional fishing in the sense that you're casting this big lure in conventional fishing and you're casting a little tiny fly in fly fishing. So in conventional fishing we're casting the lure, in fly fishing we're casting the line and the fly goes for the ride. And so it's a little different in the fact we're casting a line and not the, not the lure. The fishing in the Grand River is actually quite interesting, quite complex. At the top end, it's a smallmouth bass fishery as it comes out of the Luther Marshes. And then below Bellwood Dam, we have a tailwater fishery and we have uh, ray, um, brown trout in that. And then in this stretch, it becomes warmer again and it becomes a bass fishery. We have walleye, we have carp, we have channel catfish, we have garpike. We have quite a range of species in this river right here and they can all be caught on a fly. So when somebody comes to me looking uh, to book me for either lessons or guiding, I make an effort to find out something about them, something about how they want to fish, what do they want to get out of the day, and I try to build the day around that. If they don't have uh, rods, reels and lines, don't worry about it, I have all the gear that's necessary, except for waders, but in a day like today, we don't need waders, wet shoes and a pair of shorts will do the job. And the idea is to have fun, in the end you want to have fun. Next, learn about the history of Caledonia and the surrounding region at the Edinburgh Square Heritage and Cultural Centre. Built in 1857, the building first served as the town hall. It was also used as a community hall, meat market, and housed the town's jail cell. Today, there are rotating exhibits on the main floor, including a permanent exhibit about the gypsum mining industry, conference rooms and archives up on the second floor, and the original jail cell in the basement. Entrance is free and the staff are happy to answer any questions. For lunch, make your way to the Tartan Diner. Tucked into the back of a plaza, this local favorite serves up classic diner dishes like BLT sandwiches, corned beef sandwiches, and homemade quiche. Now that you're all fueled up from lunch, explore the riverside along the Kingsman Park Trail. Starting at the Caledonia Bridge, the Kinsman Park Trail runs 300 meters along the northern side of the Grand River, just past the Caledonia Dam. Along the way, you'll pass by the community pool, a huge 6,500 square foot splash pad, a large gazebo, baseball diamonds, tennis courts, and lots of green space to relax on a sunny day. The trail is paved and fully accessible and offers great views of the Grand River. For accommodations, book yourself into the Grand Corbel B&B. Set in and amongst a residential section of Caledonia, it is run by the lovely and charming Carrie. The B&B features two rooms. The first is the lake room, decorated in such a way that it'll make you feel like you're in a cozy lakefront cottage. The second room is the spacious 1,000 square foot grand suite. It features a full kitchen, living room space, three-piece bathroom, and a separate bedroom with a queen-size bed complete with a selection of pillows to satisfy your personal preference. There's also a walkout to a patio where you can enjoy a dip in the pool or a relaxing moment outdoors. In the morning, enjoy continental breakfast or a delicious three-course meal in the dining room, including Carrie's incredible homemade strudel. After you've settled into your accommodations, head to the Argyle Street Grill for dinner. This popular spot has been open for almost a decade and has even been featured on You Gotta Eat Here. They serve up classic dishes using fresh local products wherever they can in a family-friendly setting. I highly recommend the chicken wings, the curd burger, the portobello chicken, and the cheese capoletti.
Okay, it's day two of your weekend getaway here in Caledonia, and we're gonna get things started by stretching your legs in La Fortune Park. Located on the western edge of town, this 106 acre park was once a private campground. When it closed in 2002, it was given to the region and its fate was left up in the air. In 2018, it was granted a new life with the installation of a disc golf course. This championship level 18 hole course is run by the Caledonia Disc Golf Club and the Friends of La Fortune Park group. Avid disc golfers will love the challenge of the course and if you're not playing around, lace up your shoes and enjoy the trail. Next, head to Victor's Cornerstone for lunch. Located right on the corner of Argyle and Caithness Streets, this family-run restaurant has been open since 1995. The menu features a variety of dishes and the portions are filling. Choose from hearty salads, pasta dishes, house-made hamburgers, or a plate of European favorites like Polish sausage, cabbage rolls, schnitzel, and pierogies. After lunch, explore some of the boutique shops in Caledonia. Located right by the bridge on Argyle Street is Bella & Coop. This home decor and lifestyle shop opened in 2017. Here you'll find a wonderful collection of unique items sourced from local and national vendors, including cushions, candles, and clothing. If you're a music lover, then head to Second Chance Records. They sell a wide assortment of new and used vinyl records, CDs, DVDs, and turntables. They also have some great gifts for the music fan in your life. And for those looking for a new outfit, visit the Coach Pyramids. This ladies clothing shop houses 6,000 square feet of merchandise. The majority of the brands they carry are Canadian, including Frank Lyman, and the largest collection of Joseph Ripkoff designs available in the world. Before heading home, make a stop into Wally Parr Sausage. This family-run business has been operating since 1969 and produces gourmet sausages that are 87% fat-free, have no preservatives, fillers, or nitrates, and are gluten-free. Dig into a freshly cooked sausage and enjoy it on the patio, and stock up from a huge selection of restaurant quality foods to take home. Well, that wraps up my time here in Caledonia. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet already. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you soon.